Producers, Excite Audio have just dropped another bloom instrument. It's called Drum Breaks. Let's check it out. Aye, aye, Capitan, everybody want a. Aye, aye, Pakitan, everybody want a. In this video, I'm gonna give you a general overview of the plugin and show you some of the ways that I use it in these projects I just played for you. Now, it's essentially laid out exactly the same as Bloom Vocal Ether, and I've already done a 20 minute long video tutorial on every in and out nook and cranny of these instruments. So I'm gonna leave those details to that video. I'm gonna to link to it in the video description. And in this one, just show you how to get started using this incredible drum breaks instrument. This is the track that I'm working on, one of my favorites that I made leading up to this video. Aye, aye, Capitan, everybody want a, aye, aye, Pakitan, everybody want a, aye, aye, Capitan, everybody want a, bye, bye. All the drums in this are from Bloom Drum Breaks. I mean, it just sounds so large. And as soon as I heard it, I knew I needed to go, you know, pretty, pretty hard with it. The general gist here is we've got two octaves down here that correspond to a two octave keyboard. And we've got samples loaded in the white keys and then effects on the left on the black keys and phrases on the right. So a phrase is a sequence of samples and chops loaded. So I can just hit this one key right here and I'm gonna get something gnarly. Now we've got four effects. These are catered to drum breaks. The sample bank, you come in, we've got eight banks of different samples. Now these are full drum breaks. You'll see that these are not one shots. To mix and match, we just gotta drag and drop. We can drag an entire line if we wanted to, and you can also just hit the randomize. If you jump into the edit page, this is where we got the sample editor, and you can choose the different samples. So obviously we have 14 samples loaded. If I come into 10, you'll see that 10 is just this part right here, but I've got full access if I wanna switch that up. We can snap it to the grid if we wanted to. We've got our normal sort of attack, release, pan, volume, all that sort of stuff that's normal for a drum machine. We've got access to it right here. We've got our choke groups. The phrase player is where we can add sections, if we wanted to, of the different samples into a sequence, which is what we can trigger when we press down here. That was just me randomly changing those samples out, if you remember what it was like before, and I think it sounds super good. Oh, I love this instrument so much. You can also come in and automate different parameters here on a per phrase player basis. And then down here, we've got dynamics with an advanced panel, saturation with an advanced panel, and a really great noise option as well with an advanced panel and lots of great noises to choose from. I'm a huge fan of the Vinyl Crackle and the Crowd. Definitely check those out later on. And then we have our master controls over here. So before we jump into the next section, let me play you a few of the presets. <laughs> So those are just in the basic samples here or the basic presets. There'll be a lot more than I have here. I'm just in a beta version of the plugin. Let's check out some experimental stuff. And let's check out some combined. And let's check out some processed. Ooh, I really love that one. Let's keep moving on though. All right, so there's a general overview, but what I wanna do next is show you how you can get in and automate some of the phrase player automation lines independently. All right, so this is the track. <laughs> And this is what it sounds like just with the drum breaks. Oh, 
All right, so you can see I've got a little bit of a fill here before it loops back around. Now we're gonna use the phrase player automation lines down here to tweak that out a little bit and give it more of a fill feel. I think the first place I wanna start with is with pitch. So if I turn this on, I can just adjust the pitch for this particular phrase, I'm on phrase C, and I'm just gonna take the pitch, right, and bring it up. The bar is right here, and I don't need to worry about anything else. This just has to do with the rate that we have set on the phrase player. This is perfectly fine. We can already tell that's a much better sort of fill environment. We can also do something with the low cut. Perhaps I want to come in with a little bit of a low cut, but then as it comes in, we'll take it out. And we could do the same thing with something like saturation. So let's go ahead and just double click and introduce some saturation and we can add a little bit of a curve there. All right, and we can do the same thing with noise. I've got the really cool crowd noise on here. It's happening dynamically and I wanna increase that as again, the fill happens. So I'm just gonna do something like this. Now let's listen to it in the context of the track. And it's just added a bunch of character using those automation lines in the phrase player. All right, so now that I've shown you how to get more control with those automation lines, let me show you how I use the randomize functions, which are in a number of different locations, to add top lines to literally any type of drum break or any other type of beat. Four to the floor, it will work too. Let me show you how I use those right now. All right, so this is the track that I'm gonna show you how to use this randomize technique. <laughs> The drum breaks are these. Now remember, I said this was just for tops essentially, or work the best with tops. So I have just a kick and snare, and this is what it sounds like with the kick and snare and drum breaks as the top. I'm gonna go ahead and just initialize the patch again. So what I wanna do is come into the edit page. We're just gonna use phrase player one and I'm just gonna hit random. We're gonna roll off the low end because we don't want any of the kicks for the most part to be taking up any of the space because we already have those. We can just hit randomize until we get something we like. So let's see what that sounds like with the kick and I'm just gonna hit random a bunch of times. Probably too much low end there. So that's the randomized feature for the phrase player, but we can also randomize the samples, which is just gonna switch up again what sort of top line we get. So let's do that a few times. And we can go back and switch out the phrase. I mean, I think you can agree. I, it's very quick and easy here, but you've already done it and you're getting a lot of great examples. I'd also come in and turn on the noise right here and come into, I really like the crowd. Let me see, it's right here. I mean, it's so much fun just to do this. I can do this all day, but I think you get the gist of what I'm saying and you're definitely gonna try it out once you get Bloom drum breaks. All right, and finally, I'm just gonna show you a track that I made using drum breaks. That's around 95 BPM, I think, just to show you that drum breaks can indeed make tracks from across the entire range of BPM. So from like your hip hop all the way up to your drum and bass like I showed you in the beginning of the video.